Aaron's simple steps, like turning off the lights at MacArthur Elementary, helped save energy costs by 50 percent, and those savings could go a long way. Now, when I come in in the mornings to unlock the building, I just make sure that I don't turn on any lights. Carol Stevens' routine has changed. As building supervisor at MacArthur Elementary, she's taking small steps to save energy every day. If I notice um, computers that are left on, I'll turn them off or lamps, you know, that are in the classrooms. I make sure that I turn them off. <laughs> Right now, MacArthur Elementary is the top energy-saving school in the district. So we're very conscientious with our energy costs by adjusting our thermostats during the day. Principal Howard Weibel says MacArthur cut energy costs in half. He hopes the money saved will go far. Well, eventually it will impact our school by being able to keep the staff that we have and not having to trim teachers perhaps at the end of the year because of the savings that we've made. So far, TPS has seen a 27% reduction on utility costs this year. It's just a lot of little stuff, but it really has made a big impact on our operation cost. The district hired three full-time employees to monitor energy reduction for eight and a half million square feet of schools. You know, the more cost we can cut here, the more teachers we can have. That's really the bottom line. The more it can go into the curriculum side. Teachers like Tammy Reed know the initiative is about more than turning off the lights. Well, any money that's saved is good for the district. And uh, for every teacher that we can have, it's, it's going to be an asset for our kids. Now, TPS has seen $20 million in budget cuts so far. And with the possibility of more budget cuts in the future, the savings add up. Live in Midtown Tulsa, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.